What's going on YouTube? Hey, this is your boy Tech Savvy. Hey, today is Friday. I'm, I'm getting home off of work and decided to start working on uh, Deathstroke. Uh, I was riding around last night for a couple of minutes and uh, I, I go over it in a minute. Uh, but right now I'm changing my oil, oil filter and adding some Optane boost into the uh, system. So I'm going to show you what I use right quick and then I, I go over and explain what happened last night. All right, first thing first, uh, this is what I decided to go with. I'm, I'm an Amsol uh, type of guy. As far as my motorcycle, my gold wing, I was using the Amsol on it and I never had an issue with the oil. Uh, for, but for the slingshot, this is the oil that I'm, I'm switching over to. Um, I suppose they had changed my oil out at the, 50, at the 500 mile, mile marker for the break-in point, but running back and forth to the dealer, uh, I'm pay, I'm um, I'm, my mileage is almost around uh, 1300 for my first oil change <clears throat> uh, so I'm getting to it now but this is the products that I use uh, I'm using or, or that I'm switching to it's the Amsol uh, SAE by weight 50 uh, this is the Amsol filter oil filter for the Polaris slingshot y'all know I'm, I'm riding the 2022 uh, slingshot R and this is the oil filter for it now my octane boost i always use it on my motorcycle when i change my oil i only use one bottle per tank after i change my my oil for the first time and then this is one of the products that i use when i do my next oil change so in other words once i run through this one bottle and this one tank i don't bother to try to use another one until my next oil change which now is going to be at the 5,000 mark uh, mile mark all right so enough about that i hate videos talking about oil uh but i just wanted to show, share with you all what i use or what i'm switching over to i of course i got death stroke under the cover here and it's about to rain so i gotta slitter my way up under this cover here and then i get inside and show y'all exactly what i was talking about so y'all bear with me Okay, let me slide off up in here. All right, let me get some light in here because I'm working on the inside here. All right, like I was saying, last night I was riding around a death stroke and believe it or not, my engine, engine light had came on. I don't know what I was doing at the time, but I took off, I hit the acceleration, and then I automatically came to a quick halt because a car was trying to basically uh, run across my path. So I was hitting the gas and then I hit the brake and then boom, the engine light came on. So I thought I probably tore up something. All right, I'm going to show you exactly what, I was what I'm talking about. But the reason I'm showing you this is because the Polaris slingshot the 2022 slingshot r model it has its own diagnostic where it tells you exactly what's wrong with it i just got through talking to uh the dealership where i bought my slingshot from the slingshot r tells you exactly what's wrong with the product i mean what's wrong with your vehicle so the the other the the models before the 22 uh you had to go through your panel hit your mode button whole nine yards and then it gave you a a code and then that code was supposed to be able to tell the man to tell the mechanic at the dealership what's wrong with your vehicle it's supposed to be like a three digit i mean a, a code where they the code actually tells them what area to go check on the vehicle uh, for to perform a diagnosis and make sure something is is, is uh, malfunctioning or say for instance you got a code and it's telling the mechanic to go to the back because uh, that gas uh, cap is is off or missing and when a mechanic go back go back there and you know he see what's wrong uh, that's how the diagnostic usually work but on the 22 model 
it tells you exactly what's wrong so i'm gonna start it up so y'all can see exactly what i'm talking about and hopefully because i'm finna find out myself exactly what's wrong with my slingshot all right so here we go <laughs> I, I, I can't believe it um, okay I'm gonna show you the process because now the uh, <laughs> the um, the fault light is gone I have nothing on my dash itself for the seatbelt code and the parking code but my engine code light came on and the and the dealer told me that the 2022 model, this is what you got to do. I'm going to go through it anyway. You come to your control panel and you go to your settings button. You go to your all settings button. And then you go to the bottom where it says vehicle. And you go to your diagnostic screen. Once you go to the diagnostic screen, okay, mine is blank. And he that's what he was telling me. If the screen is blank when the diagnostic comes up and the screen is blank like mine is now, there's nothing majorly wrong with your system. Okay, now with that being said, these Polaris slingshots are set up to make you perform maintenance and to make you contact the dealer some type of way meaning that it's going to give you a fault no matter if you change your oil uh, 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 at 500 miles i just don't i'm just doing mine at 1300 so i'm guessing my engine light came on after i was riding around last night my engine light came on and when i came home today the first thing i did was change out my oil my oil filter and i'm adding some octane boost in the gas tank so these slingshots are programmed to make you perform maintenance even though nothing is wrong with the system. All right, what I just showed you is, and I'll show it to you again, your settings button on your display, go to your all settings, go to the vehicle and click on diagnostic. If nothing is there, there's nothing majorly wrong with your system and the reason the mechanic gave me this information is because if something was on the screen i wouldn't have been able to get in for a service appointment until november 3rd so that's why he went on and gave me this information so i told him hey once i do this and i find out nothing is wrong and he basically told me if nothing is there don't worry about the vehicle but if you still want to come see me, keep your appointment for November the 3rd. Hey guys, I'm so happy now. So I'm telling you now, at your 500 mark, break in for these new Polaris slingshot. No matter if you do it on time or not, no matter how you driving it, no matter how many miles you go to 500 mark break in point, these systems on these Polaris slingshot is going to still inform you maintenance has to be performed. That's the point I wanted to bring to you guys. And what I'm showing you is exactly how you can find out if something is wrong. If your diagnostic screen is pure blank, that's a thumbs up for you. That means you ain't gotta spend no money. Just sit back, start your start, restart your, your Polaris Sling Shop, maybe a two or three times for the next time you get before you get ready to ride. And most likely that, uh, that engine light will shut off. So, hey, I hope this information helped you out. Because the dealership helped me out. Uh, and I'm grateful. Uh, but I'm the type of person who would, who tries to perform his own maintenance. And I still notify the dealer, hey, this is what I'm doing. Um, to make sure I don't void my warranty, I'm making sure that if I still has to come in to go see the dealer, then I'm still taking it to the dealer. Uh, but like I said, I have nothing majorly wrong. My engine light came on. Now it's off after I changed my oil, oil filter. Uh, did the diagnostic for the screen. It's clear. Started it back up after I changed my oil and oil filter. And now the engine light is gone away. So, hey, I'm happy. <laughs> I hope this information helped you out. 
hey, stay tuned. If you like this type of information where I'm working on my on my slingshot, I'll be working on my gold wing here in, in a minute too. Uh, hey, just continue uh, to like, leave me a comment, subscribe to the channel. Help me grow my channel. Uh, and hopefully I get a chance to meet you guys. If, no matter if you're on a slingshot or a gold wing, you know, hey, as long as you're riding, I'm riding. And actually, I don't care what you're riding. Uh, it's, you the one kind of ride it. You want to you ride with me? Hey, give me a call when you come out this way. And uh, we, we can meet up. Now, that's the most important thing. People are showing up out of the blue and then calling me. And I'm up under this joke, uh, up under my motorcycle. Working on some stuff. And I, I can't break away. So, if you're trying to contact me, give me a heads up. Like a 24, 48 hour time frame. So, I can get away from whatever I'm doing to come out and ride with you. Alright. That's enough for the day. Hope you enjoyed the content. Talk to you later. That's my spiel for the day, YouTube. Y'all have a good one. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. Uh, hey guys, before I forget, if you're changing your own oil, make sure you go into your display panel and check the um, the oil service date on your uh, on your panel. I'll show you how to do that right quick too. The uh, same way, you go through settings, all settings, go to the all service uh, prompt now you have just updated so it's telling me now that my next oil service is due in 5,000 miles or 12 months so that's way that way when you change your own oil the, the uh, slingshot will continue to keep monitoring the, uh, your, your mileage or the months whichever one comes first for you to make your next oil change so the the 22 model will tell you as long as you update it manually yourself if you're doing it it will stay it still keep going and, and notify you for your next oil change other than that i hope that helped you uh talk to you guys later hey 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 hey